And to sort of do and cut a piece of what and such now. And that yeah, and quam channel. Football book, yeah, come football. No, we have a good answer. You'll be for the young boss. We never share. A software, I said, you know, and nineteen so so. And go be yet the end ya. Over time, no one can. I've been you point out at the Sakaran so so. I thought one of the other politicians. Good morning. A ready and shall we agree. Sir, and also, and also can't a crap at just a form. Three best at one month, and you know, yeah, yeah, and Kaibo, a trial. Sir, twenty men are almost Abba Abyssian Bible. Our top credit Bible college, no, almost every year school. To start graduation ceremony, no, and my basso. Saran so, and I'm a catcher, I'll say, when you go for Adam, my troll book for fro, my side book, no, so, yeah, but Abbe Lanche. Na ebe ni gisa me kacha o se. Ena no na wachi a ipia imono. Friday, Saturday, ena Sunday no. Ena juma di ni jina ekoso. Unyango po bwa me bibia ya kama 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 kama. Iti ne ano pay ya suspendi ya normal program no. Se do do a want me ama graduation. Ene book lunch juma di no ase no. Ene. Ya de infodi kakra ebe chao na wanya sa diye eho jume diye no etimi eko so sa isia meba onche maba abe krao eradi shao With a round of applause let's welcome Professor P.K. Richardson Good morning brothers and sisters it's a great pleasure to come among Christian people the sons and daughters of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. What is the greatest thing that you have achieved? Is that it is the place where I met my Savior, the Lord Jesus. And that is the greatest, not the degrees. But I have been following this church and the preaching and all that is going on for many years. So I'm really thankful to God to be here. And somebody said, you don't need to be very close to know somebody. You can actually see a good person from afar. And I saw him from afar. And now I'm here. So, Brother Dan, thank you for inviting me. Thank you, congregation, for having me here. And thank you for the honor that you bestowed on me. It's a great honor for me. And I thank you. And I thank the Lord for it. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. On behalf of the class of 2021, I would like to welcome you, Professor Chairman, the representative of the district police commander, teaching faculty, alumni, friends, family, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, to the second graduation ceremony of the Takrade Bible College, TBC. First of all, we would like to thank the Almighty God for His mercies, blessings, guidance, provision that He has bestowed upon us. Through this three-year journey, He, God, has been with us, protected us, and delivered us from all misfortune. We would like to thank the church, the Takrade Central Church of Christ, for being our sole sponsors through these three years our studies here and our stay was totally free of such it was free on our part but it was never free on their part now we would like to thank the faculty beginning with mr samson egan for risking his life traveling from south pond every week and making sure that he equips us with the requisite knowledge needed in our ministries indeed you are a man of arrangement in his own ways you taught us to be just like the barbarians in the bible to strive to be scholars and always remember that there is only one interpretation to the text if it is it is and if it is not it is not so he will say 
these words of yours would go a long way with us in our ministries. Even when Korah was rampant, you forsook all odds and made sure you did not lack in any way in our academic works. We appreciate all your efforts and pray that God blesses and increases you in all that you do as you continue to work in his vineyard. Say, we appreciate you. To Professor Dr. Dan Ousu Siyama, who is also Director of Studies of the College. Sir, words cannot be used to appreciate you enough. Your vision, optimism, dynamism is unmatched. Your generosity is worthy of emulation. You have imparted unto us expensive practical knowledge that have been gathered over the years. Through your ministry conversation lessons, we have been natured and equipped for the task ahead. You always told us not to settle for good when there is better, and not to settle for better when there is best. You always encouraged us to be paradigm pioneers. We thank you for imparting unto us what your strong objection to divisive tendencies in the church. Quote, do not go and split the congregations because the congregations are not for us, but rather for God. End of quote. These words will continue to ring in our hearts. Sometimes we were not up to your expectations in giving answers to topics that have been treated previously. And in expressing your disappointment brought about the famous monono expression. With your continuous counsel and direction, you made our stay in this institution possible. We thank God for your life and the things that God has accomplished through you. It is our prayer that God blesses you as you continue to lift the banner of Christ high. For longevity, good health, and more open doors in your endeavors. Let me quickly highlight on some of the key topics and courses that we have studied under the feet of these gallant soldiers of Christ, i.e. Mr. Samson and Dr. Esiama. OT survey. Old Testament survey helped us to understand the Old Testament books and why they are part of our Bible. New Testament survey also helps us to understand the New Testament books and why they are part of our Bible. NT Greek helps us to give us the basic Greek knowledge that will help us to understand our scriptures. Ministry conversations helps us to understand the ministry that we have engaged ourselves in. Hermeneutics helps us to interpret the scriptures very well. Soteriology helps us to understand the salvation plan that our Lord Jesus Christ brought about on this earth. Christology helps us to understand the nature of our Lord and Jesus Christ. Pneumatology helps us to understand the Holy Spirit. Prophet helps us to understand how prophets operate in the Bible and that of today's prophets. Homiletics helps us to understand how to deliver and how to prepare our sermons. And our professor, Dr. Donesiama, will tell you, if you're a preacher, you need not to smell like a goat. Psalms, apocalyptic literature, this helps us to understand when the Bible is speaking in figurative language. Apologetics helps us to defend the Bible that it is our ultimate tool that we're going to work with. Now, church history. With church history, we still owe our professor. This was the last course that we were studying. But because time was not on our side, we couldn't complete this course. And he told us, wherever and whenever that I meet you, I will continue church history. And so we know here we are, he will continue that. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Professor Chairman, 13 individual courses have been used to prepare us for the task ahead. Professor Chairman, I thank you for your attention. Congratulations, my fellow graduates. Good morning. So my
great thou art, how great thou art. So next on the list will be a pledge of commitment from preacher Samson Egan. Will you preach the undiluted gospel of the Lord Jesus in its purity to the perishing world? I charge you therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who will judge the living and the dead at his appearance and his kingdom, preach the word, be ready in season and out of season, convince, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and teaching. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but according to their own desires, because they have itching ears, they will heap up for themselves teachers, and they will turn their ears away from the truth and turn aside to fables. But you be watchful in all things, and your affliction do the work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. And the God one shall say, The certificates and awards. Neno, director of the school, NLD Bemaye, being brother Dr. Daniel Osu Esiema. Bemaye fan sembon mano, mon fei sei sembon fei shiano. Four of them had distinction. Bless Bugre. <laughs> So, you know, man. so the next person is Emmanuel Prince Ami here. He had distinction. You are the normal human. Brother Patrick Kojo Insia. <laughs> Maxwell Afia Daniel. Next, the following. All of them did pass our examination. So all of them have done very, very well. Prince Tabiri. <laughs> this <is> Wilson. <laughs> Abriel Anchi. <laughs> Prosper Odum. <laughs> Frank Otu. <laughs> Frank Nero. Huh? Yes. Yeah, that's Philip Ashan. This is going to Brother Retina Patrick Emmanuel Amponsa. <laughs> we now invite our senior prefect. Yeah. 
Grand Pansha, no? And the instructors of the college would like to decorate you. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Our best overall student for the year. And his name is Brother Maxwell Afedonio. <laughs> Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. I first of all thank the Almighty God for making this day a memorable day in my life. It's very historic. And I least expected this. But God has done it. So praise be to his name. Amen. Nananum, the representative of the municipal chief executive. Special invited guests, of course, from the Ghana Police Service, preachers of the gospel, church leaders, ladies and gentlemen, all protocol observed. First of all, I want to thank all of you here present for taking the time off your busy schedules to honor our invitation today. Today, as you have witnessed, 20 men who have successfully undergone a three-year intensive course in biblical studies are graduating from the Takoradi Bible College. And number two, my first ever published book is going to be launched. Let us first of all talk about preaching and preachers. Today, there are too many charlatans who parade themselves as men of God but in the end, because they are not genuine, they tend to dupe many unsuspecting seekers of God. Mr. Chairman, as a result of this and many more malpractices in the name of Christ, the need for genuine men of God cannot be overemphasized. The Holy Scriptures have warned us severally to beware of false prophets. Unfortunately, because of lack of knowledge and understanding of the Bible, so many in our Ghanaian society have fallen prey to these false prophets. These false prophets promise their victims heaven on earth. And they sell almost everything at their various churches, which can best be described as business centers. As if that is not enough, they cause fear and panic every now and then with their doom prophecies, which are almost always directed at politicians, celebrities, and the well to do in our society. Mr. Chairman, these nefarious activities must be checked and stopped through genuine preaching and proper interpretation of the scriptures. In this vein, I want to commend the new IGP, Dr. Dampari, and the entire Ghana Police Service 
for lifting up their game against all these vices in our country. And since we have Chief Superintendent Cephas Arthur here from the national headquarters, I hope the IGP will get my message. Mr. Chairman, the second part of our program today has to do with the launching of my new book entitled Legendary Post, which is a compilation of my famous Facebook post from the year 2017 to the year 2020. In this 366-page book are sermons, Bible teachings, reports of my missionary travels and activities, as well as stories from the mission field and stories of national interest. When we write and publish books, we allow people to enter into the chambers of our mind, thus understanding what we stand for in a more vivid and permanent manner. King Solomon in Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 12 wrote, And further, my son, be admonished by this. Of making many books, there is no end. Unquote. In 1 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 13, Paul told Timothy, Till I come, give attention to reading and in revelations 1 verse 3 we read blessed is he who reads again in nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 8 we read so they read distinctly from the book in the law of god and they gave the sense and helped the people to understand the reading. With all this, Mr. Chairman, how can we trivialize the writing of books and the necessity of reading as Christians? I am therefore appealing to all of you here to try to secure a copy of the book. And please, when you buy one, please read it. the whole thing we have two beautiful ladies who are prepared to give us some poetry before we invite he himself to whip up our interest before the luncheon takes place thank you very much for this great opportunity that has been given to us today mr chairman nanano Honorable ministers, distinguished guests, students, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Agnes Teichi and my sister, Ruby Teria. Today, we are in a high spirit to stand in front of you to recite a poem 
about our legend in this generation. Ladies and gentlemen, behold, for our poem is entitled The Living Legend. The Living Legend. Yes, a living legend he is. For he has touched so many lives. He crisscrosses the world just to fulfill the great commission and helping the poor and the vulnerable in our society. Behold the servants of God, the philanthropists, the preacher and writer or missionary. Brother, doctor, honoris causa, Dan Ousu Esiama, a living legend by all standards. Thank you. Please give it up, 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 give it up. And we are no mere no. I almost contribute to ye, encourage ye, a year, a juma spend sleepless nights. Ama bookiba abonteno. I say the card omo and woman a show monsa. And to Mr. Brother Frank Otu and a brother Alex Samuaha. The Pamacha Mamaji book room from Sam and Sana Matna Asse. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We thank you, all of you, who made this day possible, who made contributions to make this day possible. On top of that, we thank you, all of you, for coming. You can organize the best party in the world, the best meeting in the world. If people don't show up, it will fail. It is people who give substance to anything. So we thank you, high table people. We thank you, church members. We thank you, our friends who are not members of the church yet, but who have come from far and wide. I've come from Manchester. We thank you all for coming and gracing the occasion. So, congratulations once again. Congratulations, Brother Nan, for your book. And congratulations to all of you for making this a wonderful day. I said, my mama Simon Wara in our hand here. Thank you very much. Ewa jumedi a eko son ehu na sa na yesu swa idi jumano yeni anche se aseda enina enkoma yeni anko pono yebo empire se e member noa iwe bible school no e radi ebe use wamo na omaye unyamia juma e di abwa Sarah ena books nonso so omo eto bi ebe inshra e di ama wamo se e biya upesa unya a copy of the booka offer line. Yeah, a e da ye television no as one one. Ye bet me I'm a one ya a whole information. And now better still no, a ya test it. O test it and I'll do dean as I say, watch us a uh book no ebia. Ba co a ye hundred Ghana cities. The ebe and say, O send you see cano through mobile money. Yen se be send you book no a dia brow. El baby biara or a be back car station. No ako no a question. A radi a shroud. A wa de ne wash in na you are Jesus Christ said, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. We be uno kreno amano kreno amamo aye adeshe. The churches of Christ salute you, and good morning, Radipa. Nepenu, ibesa eshebi. Bye bye. There is a God. There is a God.